to Ja Rule. Ja Rule. Okay, so we heard of Young Buck effing up his money to the point where he's talking to fans and asking fans for money and he's relying on his girlfriend currently to support him because he's all the way broke and the, the pandemic times he wasn't able to actually go out there and perform and make any type of money. So it's kind of rough on Young Buck right now. But speaking of another rapper that fucked up their bag and doing desperate shit, we got Ja Rule doing the cringiest commercial of all time. Let's play this commercial and react to this. This is cringe. It make you wanna slap your mama. Pop Christos got the best motherfucking gyros, gyros. You ever f***ing ate your life so good. Take one lick, lick tip. You got to have Peters. Peters! Pop Christo Peters! They got everything. I'm gonna just give you a rundown of some of my favorites. They got Taz, Taziki. Oct oh, hold on. Octopod Takia. Well, uh, whatever, but it's good. I, I will. <laughs> Apple I mono soup, copper pizza, and they got wine too. I'm telling you, come on down to Papa Cristo. You can't even pronounce the food, it's so goddamn good. Show them what you're working with, Papa. Show them how you do it. Hey, yeah, Papa, hey, where are you? Papa Cristo, are you here? Papa, Papa, Papa Cristo, are you here? Come on down to Papa Cristo, 2771 West Boulevard Pico. Or you can call right now and get it delivered. Poppy Christos, ooh, make you want to do the dance. Opa! Okay, now the real question is, how much did they pay this? How much did they pay him to do this shit? Like, literally, what type of bag did he collect to do something that cringy and that embarrassing? I thought that shit was fake when I first saw it, but that is, that is atrocious. That is hilarious. That life reached like that to the point where you have to do something like that. I'm not laughing at anyone fucking up their money because people can fuck up their money. Shit happens. But damn. Damn. Gonna do that type of shit to make bread? Yikes. That's what sucks about the entertainment in the industry. You can't be an entertainer and mess up your bag and go get a regular job without getting destroyed. We've seen what happened to Young Jock when he was doing Uber drives. People were trying to clown him and shit. We don't even know if those Uber rides were real, but I think he was doing some sort of show or something, but... That shit is crazy. Life reached. All right, what else do we got here?